Mark Gas, June 26, 2013. Market moves daily analysis. Let's rock. Opportunity knocks on the door one more time. Monday, June 29th. Target for SP 500, 29.27. We're not expecting the market to break the 3,000 level today, but we are expecting to finally the market do so on Monday with a huge gap down. This four move keeps coming up, interfering with this highly bearish sequence, unfortunately. But again, the market is up this morning, pre market on fumes. Notably, some of the key stocks are really hesitant to move higher, meaning that literally equates to no follow through of this huge move in the last part of the day yesterday. This 40 point move that came in lightning fast at the very last part of the trading session between 3 and 4 p.m. We're likely to get a complete reversal of that between 3 and 4 p.m. today. So stay very patient. The strategy is very simple. We want to short the market right at the open because it has a high probability of just gapping down like what it's yeah, been doing. Well. Has a high probability of gapping down further right after the open. So every morning you have seen this sequence have been very precise. We are getting a consistent gap down in the markets now. The magnitude of the gap down clearly yesterday when the market was almost touching this 3010 level was the ideal exit point. But at that point, the VIX was rocketing higher. And unfortunately, VIX is the part of this sequence that is not um, coming through for us. But pre-market, I was able to take a snapshot of a very critical picture, which points to a definite bottom in the VIX here pointing to finally a breakout in the VIX from here. Despite of the weak behavior in the VIX over the last couple of days, it clearly, the picture that I'm about to show you guys is worth a thousand words, okay? Every time we get VIX doing this pre-market, um, it typically goes higher for a few days in a row. So basically what I'm saying, there's no follow through on the move yesterday, and that is a bearish sign. The market is trying to get some traction on very low volume and it is unable to produce further gains pre-market after trying to do so after the market closed yesterday. So the strategy is simple. We short the market. We're tracking to open at 3060. We're short the 3060 level. Expect a sharp drop, maybe 20, 30, possibly even 40 points. Collect gains, reposition, short the bounce, okay? Uh, we're not getting anything positive from uh, many sectors besides the only sector was really holding up the market higher yesterday uh, or basically prevented the market from further drop was the banking sector. All the banking stocks were in the green. I think the market is going to shift the behavior today on this banking sector, and we're going to see a lot of banking stocks in the red. If we can get some of these stocks um, on the technology side to participate as well today, could be a triple-digit loss, not just for the Dow, but possibly we could dip below 3,000 level at the very end of the session between 3 and 4 p.m. So gold remains to be the only bullish thing on our radar. Uh, anyway, in the alert group the other day, I sent an uh, alert about INO calls when it was about 21, 22 bucks, guys. It hit 35. Yes, it's time to collect profits, get out of this trade, okay? And we're still highly bearish on all of these names. Finally, there's actually some Wall Street analysts that agree with our call on Boeing. Boeing was downgraded yesterday and today by some Wall Street analysts. And Zoom, based at the chart, looks like Zoom could make not a crash, but a substantial pullback, maybe 15, 20 bucks from current levels of around 260. So keep an eye on Zoom. If we see some volume coming in right out of the gate, Zoom can actually uh, be due for some profit taking, and so is Amazon. Now, Tesla notably staged a pretty decent bounce yesterday, but guys, that's not going to last. Anytime Tesla touches 991,000, just pull the trigger, buy boots. Options are going to be cheap, so even with a small account, you can produce crazy gains today. Target five, six, seven, uh, seven, eight hundred percent returns today on these things. So there's two possible variations, guys. We're getting a move 11, or we're getting a move three, and it's going to continue throughout the day. Now, if the volume does not accelerate at the open, guys, beware that there could be some kind of resemblance of a move five. Now, typically, move fives that don't happen around these 31, 30. To level, typically we get move fives when VIX is around, you know, 12, 13, 11 or so. So move five is highly unlikely. So we're expecting the market to be moving by a greater magnitude than 10 points in S&P to each side. So with that said, the resemblance of move five could be something like this, where we, yeah, we are gapping down, but not by a lot, kind of doing what we we're doing yesterday. But the difference today, instead of 
the market moving higher in the last hour the market's actually going to go lower now the second variation could be we're going to have a huge sell-off right at the open followed by an attempt to bounce followed by further sell-off so keep an eye on these moves right here guys should be pretty easy sailing today all you got to do is focus on shorting the balances next market move 3 or 11 basically is what we're calculating. The peak in market complacency is not going to last very longer. To review the market most guys, yesterday on the 25th on Thursday, it was a move of 4. It had assigned a low probability to a move 4, but it was one of the three probabilities for yesterday. This is how move 4 looks. Uh, notice this red dots I've inserted right here, guys. Basically, that is something I've referenced in the trading alerts yesterday if you see something that keeps trying to break the level three or four times guys the chance it's going to break it is not very good um however notably on this last part of the sell-off right here the volume this is where the volume really accelerated on 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 the downside so people are taking profits around this level 3070 3080 so anytime we get close i'm not even sure if we're going to get close to that it looks like we're tracking about 3060 open so let's go and short that level Two-day sequences, three, four. Basically, uh, we've got a very nice move three formation. Overall, it kind of reminds me of a reverse head and shoulder, but the VIX is refusing to surrender, staging a bottom here. So it's highly bearish for the market, highly bullish for the VIX. Five-day sequence, two, four, 11, three, four, guys. What we got going on here is a consistent development of a series of lower highs in the market, which pretty much in 90% plus cases is going to be followed by a further drop off. So focus on shorting the bounces. VIX review 34.78, 36.3, It is officially red for yesterday, but guys here's how vix looks pre-market so anytime we've noticed on the one day one minute chart you get vix doing this this crazy red handles that are just candles that are just going down like this quickly recovering anytime uh, that i have observed this guys uh precisely this points to the bottom in the vix so this number right here 31 38 that is likely to be the bottom on the vix we're not likely to move below that point so vix is likely to maintain a level of 32 plus pretty much for the rest of the day at some point still possibly breaking out about that 36 level so position yourself let's get ready to rock big day ahead guys let's roll i'll catch you in the next trade soon